I eat out almost every meal, so I very rarely cook at home. However, I'm often left with these big chunks of meat that I want to resuscitate to their former glory. The dilemma is how do you do that without ruining and overcooking it? Grant Crilly of Chef Step is going to show me how he uses a sous vide machine to make them just as electable the day after as they were the day before. Also, he's going to make me some brisket. So if you make a beautiful prime rib, big one because they're beautiful and sexy, you're going to have some leftovers, right? You've got this big chunk of cold prime rib in your fridge. If you want to cut off a steak, you've got a couple things you can do. You can do it the quick and dirty route, which is cooking it in a pan. There's a common misconception that if I have something that's already cooked, it's going to uh, reheat faster, but that's not true. It's going to take the same amount of time. Yeah, because so you still to... have to penetrate that yep. muscle you're, in the same way, right? Still, in a steak like this, it's still going to take 30, 40 minutes of high heat with that big one and a quarter inch thick steak to get the middle cooked. The alternative, you can use sous vide, so you can get the exact temperature you want for with your prime rib. If it's medium rare, it's probably about 125, 128 degrees Fahrenheit. The beauty of it is, it's not going to overcook. Right, you because can you, can, for a hours. you can control this to the, to, to to the, the degree. degree. Right. Yep, absolutely. And whenever you're ready, you pop in a pan, sear it, and you're good to go. Okay, so let's look at the way that a traditional steak would be reheated in a pan. It's going to take probably 30 or 40 minutes, right? It's going to take as long as it would take to cook a raw steak from cold. You're just bringing a lot of heat to the surface. So you, you get a lovely Maillard reaction on the attack. Oh, you get yeah. this incredible bronzing, but the fact is you've hammered the meat inside. Right? It's going to be pretty darn hammered. Okay, so now we're going to pull the one from the bath, yep. right? In theory, you would drop this guy for the same amount of time it would take you to reheat this. So Maybe 45 minutes. So we're just going to start searing it. I know it's done, I know it's beautiful, I just gotta cook it until it looks really delicious. And again, the way I, I like to talk about it with people, and it really helps them feel a little more comfortable when they're cooking, you know it's done inside, there's no guesswork. I know it's done, and I just wanna sear it until it looks delicious. So, we have two pieces of identical prime rib. This one's been reheated in a pan, took about 40 minutes or so? Yeah, about, yep. And thing. then this one was sous vide for about the same amount of time, right. and then just simply seared off. So visually, they look quite the same, right? right? They have a nice right. caramelization. You have, obviously, the Maillard effect is, is fully going on here. Yep. The moment of truth is upon us. Let's slice this baby open and see what's going on inside. That's overcooked. I'm not even gonna eat that because it's overcooked. If I had gotten and served that in a restaurant, I would've sent it back. Mm. Still a beautiful prime rib. Wow, that, that's really succulent. I mean, it's, it, it's as if you just roasted it. Yeah, that's, that's the beauty of sous vide, right? It's going to preserve the integrity of whatever product you get. The prime rib was a massive success. Let's see how the brisket's coming along. You're trying to replicate what happens when you smoke right. Right. meat over real, over real wood. Absolutely. It's not perfect, but it's damn delicious. Great, let's Whenever slice ready, it open. You can dig in. Yeah. So you look at the way this is slicing. I mean, that looks like it came off the pit. You have the smoke ring, you have this dense bark on the outside. The inside is, is supremely tender and juicy. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. You want to give it a try? Yeah. Mm, I heat it all the way through. Still perfect. Mm -hmm. To see more videos from Grant on his channel, Chef Steps, click here. They call themselves Chef Steps and their videos awaken dormant cooks the world over. A community of badass cooks bent on building a future where cooking was king. Make sure to click here now to get the rest of our content.